Members of the U.S. team are in New York City tonight getting ready for what promises to be a truly golden celebration. As the athletes arrived this evening, preparations were underway for tomorrow's ticker tape parade up Broadway. Mayor Ed Koch will lead the gold medalists along the parade route, which will be decked out from end to end with thousands of gold flags and golden yellow balloons. And on top of all that, more than a half of a million gold paper medallions will be showered on America's team as part of those festivities. Better get your souvenir tomorrow, Steve. All no, right, I'll try and do that. For the athletes, it'll be on to the next leg of the nationwide thank you that continued in Washington earlier today. As Jeff Kamen tells us, people turned out in force to greet the U.S. team. More than 200 of them rode in open buses up Pennsylvania Avenue past admiring crowds to the Capitol, where thousands of Americans cheered their arrival. The athletic superstars returned the love. They received the official congratulations of the Congress of the United States and were praised for their courage, their dedication, their grace under pressure, and their spirit of goodwill. Senate Majority Leader Howard Baker, a man of modest physical height, presented the proclamation. Because the toughest part of this is going to be looking into the belly button of these two friends of mine over here. But let me speak seriously and just for a moment. We thank you for coming so that we too may do honor and pay tribute to the greatest Olympic team we've ever fielded. Maybe so, but the Russians, the Cubans, and the other athletes from the communist countries that boycotted the LA Games still hold many world records in Olympic events. But America's premier gymnast, Mary Lou Retton, says that doesn't bother her. The 83 world championships in Budapest, the Russians only took two medals, and I don't even know if they were all gold. Um, you really can't say because they weren't here, and because they weren't, they didn't take anything away from my medal. I'm still Olympic champion, and I'm, I'm so proud of that. Silver medalist in boxing, Virgil Hill, beat Russians in previous international matches. I mean, if they'd have been there, I'd have beat them. But weightlifter Mario Martinez, a gentle giant who had trouble meeting all the autograph demands, says if the Soviet bloc weightlifters had participated, he would probably not have his silver medal tonight. As for the boycott... It makes it kind of easy to win a medal. Nine of America's 83 gold medals were won by members of the armed forces. A clearly delighted Secretary of Defense, Caspar Weinberger, gave military medalists special awards. The country needs the heroes. It needs something to cheer about. That's the independent news for Tuesday, August 14th. I'm Steve Bosch. And I'm Christy Fair, sitting in for Pat Harper. Thanks for being with us, and good night from New York.